Hello, I'm Ed Tristram, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as Australian People's Republic. Right, we've just won a war against China, but the peace deal went kind of askew as Japan got to go first and Japan took all the coast. It was not good. Yeah, I didn't think they'd have war scots to take the entire coast, but apparently their uh, claim gave them really cheap access to the coast. So, it depends who we're going to war with. We could go to war with Japan. Uh, we'd be able to try and punch through here, uh, get you to punch through down here. Actually, you just, yeah, go there. You do not go back up here. Actually, go down here. Um, sure. Uh, and then we could maybe just grab the manpower that is basically mostly on the coast and here, which is what Japan got. Um, that'd be one option. It does run the risk of getting involved with the fascists, the, uh, the Axis. Japan isn't part of them yet, but I expect that will happen soon. That is one risk. Other options. Siam. Get it Siam. They aren't aligned. They probably will join the Axis. Easy take. Downsides. Probably get involved with the fascists and the Axis, and I don't really fancy doing that. Um, United States. Now, this is one that I really like taking the United States early. It stops them getting on the ball. It stops them bringing that ridiculous industry on track. And right now, they are still a disarmed nation with undisturbed isolationism. So they're pretty terrible. We could do an invasion from here, and we could hit their coast. Upsides. Amazing for getting hold of infrastructure. If we need industry, that is the place to go. Downsides. Not much manpower. Um, big front line that we don't probably have the troops to cover. We need to get other people involved, and we can't really guarantee they'll be helpful. Um, they might join the Allies. I don't know if they can at this stage. It would be a little bit hit or miss, but we could try it. Also, we'd have to do something about this. We'd probably disband the troops and just rebuild them. Um, other choices. There's one last choice, and that is we attack the Allies directly. We say, go for the Dutch East Indies. We take them. Um, we take up here, grab the supply of rubber. Easily enough done. I don't think there'll be much to stop us. And go for the British Raj. They have manpower. And that would be very good for us. It would actually be very beneficial. And I'm very tempted to do it. But because this choice really depends on, you know, a number of factors that might happen. Will Japan join the Axis? What will the Soviet Union do? I think they're currently fabricating on Poland. Uh, yes. Oh, also, by the way, Second War's ongoing. Czechoslovakia got taken. Poland, are you actually at war? You are not at war at the moment. United Kingdom is improving relations. Okay. Poland is not technically at war. We'll have to see what happens there. The Germans could go for Poland. I don't know what that is. Second Vienna War. That's about Czechoslovakia, right? Um, so what I think we'll do is we will hedge our bets. It's going to cost us more political power. Right now, I can't really spend the political power much. I want to definitely um, upgrade our manpower. And they've made a massive mistake about that that I'll talk about later. But for now, I'm just going to sort of justify a load of war goals all over the place. Um, I would like Guangdong, actually no, Guzhou in the peace deal, right. Doesn't really matter where we choose, but for now, we're going to hedge our bets. I'm not going to go for Siam, it doesn't really get us involved in very much, it doesn't really get us a lot of resources compared to other things in this game, and attacking anyone right now is going to involve in us attacking a faction, so there's no point in picking on a miner, because they're going to ally themselves with a faction, we'll have to fight them anyway. Um, United States, certainly an option, but I kind of think this is going to be less of the options, but nonetheless, I'm down for trying. Oregon, or do we want Washington? We'll go Washington. Now, we will count, uh, we will cancel two out of these three. Now, who do we want to declare on? We could declare on the Dutch. Or we could declare on the British Raj. If we declare on the British Raj, we don't have enough troops to really punch through here. My troops are stuck up here, unable to get anywhere. And, by the way, they are surrounded by Japanese vassals on two sides. And Japan on the other, and no one will give me access. I've checked, don't worry. Um, so, we can't really get troops to this front line. We're literally going to have two troops. It's not going to be great. How do we do this? Well, I think we can't fight the British Raj first. I think we're going to have to move up through the Dutch East Indies. So, it's going to be a very slow, very boring war, but at least we have a front line here that we can start using. Now, of course, they aren't actually in a faction, but they're very, very likely to join a faction. 
Right. Just, ooh, I could actually make you go communist, maybe. Uh, which is just for war goal. Send. Right. Gonna unpause for a bit. I now I have uh, enough farm experience, actually. We could upgrade our... Mm, I'll wait for them to be deployed before we upgrade them. Just for now. Right, let's take one off infantry equipment and put it on artillery. Because we're going to need a lot of artillery once we start pumping people full of artillery. Um, you, make sure everyone gets on the front line. Okay, you move up there, so we've got two people who can strike at this port if we choose to go for Japan. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, hello! Right. Let's get you on that front line. This is Portugal, right? Yeah. Poland joined the Allies. Well, there we go. They're at war with Germany and Italy. Right, okay, that proves it. Um, if Soviets get involved, this is going to be an interesting fight. I actually really hope that the Germans manage to beat Poland quick enough that the Soviets don't get involved. Because the Soviets might cancel their uh, attack order, or it might get cancelled for them if they actually lose straight up. Um, Japan are surrounding me, that's not nice. Oh, I'm Inventions Directorate, and Hungary joined the Axis. Okay. Um, we want to certainly keep moving down. Where is it? Over here. When we work for, get Fight Worker Parish, but the problem is to do that, we need this, which is fine, and this. Which requires invest in victory, which requires us to be at war. Yep. We should have done this one while we were at war early on. This is a big mistake. Easy to miss, though. Unfortunately, if I'd have known, I would have definitely grabbed this early on, because now I cannot upgrade my manpower until we get to war, at which point I'm going to have only about 20 units. It's not the, uh, the Blitzkrieg I would like. Normally, if you're going to attack, make sure you Blitzkrieg first, but uh, that's not really the case in this one. Oh dear. So against the people, we can attack Japan. NZ Puppet. We could go for NZ Puppet. Let's try it. I think we'll get a claim if it goes wrong. I don't think we have to do it, but we'll see. Uh, in terms of what I want to grab with this... Uh, very tempting to get the advanced machine tools. Construction, also nice. Um, but honestly, we need to keep moving our land doctrine. We need the extra 5% of population recruitable that will come. So we need to keep pushing on that one. Second Vienna Award. Let's we'll see how long this lasts. I'll also move you to the border up here. Um, then, manage occupied territories. Ooh. Ooh. Returns. I only want to return one bit. Liberate Yunnan. Release the People's Republic of China. Ooh. Oh, that would release all of them, because I guess it had cause. Yeah. We just want to release this one. Sichuan. Hmm. I like Sichuan. Uh, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Right. Return territory. Do, 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 do. No. Liberate Yunnan? No. No. And that's liberate one down here. Uh, again, no. I just want to give away one. Why can't I just give away one? You'd think you could be like, look, I want to give you part of your territory back. And they'd be like, sure, I will take part of my territory. But no, they they won't accept it. Can I just give you territory? That's very weird. Honestly, I would say that is um, straight up. That has to be just broken. And like, it's either just bad implementation. It's uh, someone missed something in dev. Or I, I don't understand why you can't just give them part of your territory. 
I don't care. Even if it does nothing, I want to get rid of Sichuan. I mean, it would let me get my troops out. It's not doing very much for me. In fact, it is being a net negative right now. I would very much like to get rid of this territory because it's trapping about half my force. And there's nothing I can do about it because I can't give it away. I mean, I'm actually considering giving away the entire bloody thing. Which is a bit silly. Maybe we stage a coup here. How much infantry equipment would it cost? Stage a coup. 1,600. How much do we have? Less than 10% of that. Uh, we could try and like effectively get one to disappear, and then we could say, look, can I get military access? They'd probably say yes, because they'd be on our side. And even though they're going to lose, we could just run for it. It's a very expensive price to pay. And honestly, the military equipment's going to take me ages to build. It's not worth it. Ah, I'm trying to think of ways to get this to work. I don't think there is a way to get it to work. In the meantime, let's get you a... People's... A Romanian People's Republic joined Comintern. Oh, okay. That probably means War of the Fascists, then. Um, let's get you on board. Because what will happen is they've got focuses that uh, ask Romania to give up land... They'll do that, and Romain will be like, look, I'm part of Comitern, so sod off. And then war will happen. How's Poland doing? I'm doing okay at the moment. I'm losing a little bit of land. We don't war with the Allies. We want war with one. Don't war with everyone. And we have to war with the fascists soon. Unless I say so. I'm better than the air at deciding this. Shush. Uh, how are we doing over here? It's still upgrading. Cool. So what we'll do is we will give you... I don't want to give you the support artillery just yet, because that's actually going to cost us a lot of artillery. I'm going to go for an engineer's company and a recon company. Ooh, that's actually a lot of infantry equipment. Plus, yeah, we could do that, though. We'd have to pay it back, but we could do that. Yeah. We need uh, 750 infantry equipment. More concession will be forced to Romanian People's Republic with Bulgaria claiming... Oh! They agreed to it. That's weird. I'd have thought they'd have fought that one. Considering that we've actually got Soviet troops now in Romania. Hmm. That's interesting. Now, of course, this episode's going to play a little bit slow. I'm going to be very cautious. I'm going to hedge my bets, if you've already seen. Because this is really going to determine the course of the game. And it's going to be a big decision. Do we attack the Allies? Do we attack the Fascists? Do we attack the USA? Do we attack everyone? I really hope that's not the case. 17th of June is when you're going to make your decision by. Okay. Well, we've got Puppet and Zed as ours. We are also claiming against a lot of people. That's, you know, late July. We'll see what happens with the NZ puppet one. Now, part of the reason I want to attack the NZ puppet thing is because um, the Allies tend to do really well normally. Although, actually, they are losing dramatic. What the hell? What the hell is this? Normally, the Allies are really good at holding out, especially on an early war. But suddenly, look at that. It's just as if France has just said, you know, sod this, I'm not having any troops here. What has just happened? That's crazy. I was literally coming over here to make that point. I uh, will get advanced machine tools. The Russian efficiency cap is what we need right now. Oh. That's not what we want from manpower. Where the hell did we lose manpower recently? But damn. That front line growth. I wouldn't have been able to do better than... Ooh. Finland rejects Soviet demands. Uh-oh. No faction at the moment. Oh, and you are fabricating. And we stopped fabricating against Poland because they joined the Allies. Ah, right. Well, that means... When will you be done with your fabrication over here? 
August. Yeah, we'll make a decision before then. All right, so we're in charge of effectively who we go for. France is going to capitulate that. That's Paris gone. There's no way they're stopping. What the hell happened? I'd have loved to know what happened on this front line. Maybe I'll go back to the save and have a look. Uh, I'll probably play it differently. Um, we question Japanese sovereignty. We question everyone's sovereignty at the moment, let's be honest. Concentrate industry three, and we'll get uh, construction. I'd have very much played my focus tree differently, had I known. Troops up there, you need them on the front line. You need to defend Paris. But you're going to lose at this rate, and that means you're going to lose the war. Damn! So you declare war on Finland. No faction. Okay, no faction. Um, sure. I'll have a call to arms request. Uh, what? Oh, these are my allies, not the allies. I was worried for a moment. I'll accept it. Mostly just so I get involved and I can actually be at war, which allows me to do my focus tree thing for being at war, remember? Japan declared war in the Netherlands. Okay, they've embraced their, uh, we need to get resources, so let's invade everybody. Okay, so if we declare war in the Netherlands, <clears throat> or on Japan, Japan's already at war in the Netherlands, maybe they'll get their troops away. We'll bring true freedom to New Zealand. Having kept the New Zealand people oppressed under their bourgeoisie thumbs, the fat cats in control of the government of New Zealand have now announced that they are under absolutely no conditions will cooperate. That they under no, absolutely no conditions will cooperate. <gasps> they will not cooperate with the Australian state. Pity for them that we do not seek the cooperation, but rather that they saving under the weight of their opulent obesity. Ooh, God, we've got a uh, war goal against them now. What will happen? Is that like a bullet timeout? No, it's just a permanent cast of spell eye, effectively. Okay. If France falls, which it looks like it will, I think we should declare one on the axis. A strong Japan in our region is going to be painful, and with a strong Germany to back them up, that's just too much. It is one of the easier ones to do. So I'm going to start preparing for that. Getting back to here is a pretty much a trivial um, exercise at this point. Now, I could actually try and invade Japan. It's not going to happen. Too far away. Too many things. Could go wrong. How many, like, how many seasons is that? One, two, three, four. Is this a tempting opening move? It's a really tempting opening move. Why not? Oh, we'll also need to get you to train, but let's try it. Uh, we'll have to take three units away. So I'm going to take away two of the cavalry, and I'm probably going to disband one of them, and an infantry. German Rack claims Memel. As they do. I've got the available war goal. Oh, it will expire! In two years' time. You know what? I might actually just take the expiry, considering how things have changed recently. Fall of Paris. There we go. Yeah, it looks like France's fall is. Japan declared the United Kingdom. They haven't joined the Axis. No, oh, I spoke way too soon. Yeah, I think we're going to be fighting Japan. I've still got like a month in which to make my choice, uh, but it looks pretty sad at this point. Now, of course, once we take Japan, we're not going to actually finish fighting the Axis. We'll actually then attack the Allies. Because then we'll have a free area here. Maybe we'll attack, you know, the USA. Oh, why have I not done my focus tree? Whoopsie, let's go back to the focus tree. That's a bit of wasted time. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. We want... Invest in victory. We need to be at war for that. So let's quickly do that, just in case something happens. Small bus here and there. It's not the most important thing right now. Right. You definitely need to get yourself a leader. Oh, they've got supply problems. I know it's frustrating. Um, get yourself... Leslie. Right, you two. Um, well, I guess you need a general. Let's try that again. Spearhead. 
There we go. Let's try the spearhead move out. Um, and we can always reposition this attack at any time we want. Ooh, no, that is not good. That is a large fleet. I hope they're sending them away. They might be sending them to, like, Europe. Now, in theory, I only have to declare war. I can have my troops en route, right? Please tell me you're upgraded soon. I need you to be, like, fully upgraded. We need to be prepared for this. Also, you're attacking somewhere that you've actually... I actually want to attack. That's a bad move. You don't want to, like, let the AI know where you're attacking. So we should, uh, quickly tell them that we are attacking... Up here. It's a very important location to me. There we go. That said, we can actually set off from here, can't we? Because this is a Soviet port. The risk of interference is so much lower. Right, this is what I'm going to do. Totally what I'm going to do. Like, Okay, just travel over there nice and quick. We've got stuff to do. I'm going to find valid path to target. Well, that's because we're not at war with them yet, but sure. Um, you? Yeah, you're going to have to spearhead um, to here, effectively. Not exactly what I was intending. Let's try that again. Spearhead. Spearhead. To there, right. Right, this is we've got the one week left. Um, we're going to cancel some of our war goals. So, hi. Cancel our justification. Who else are we justifying against? Uh, United States, cancel justification. Japan it is. Right. Let's get you. To the Sea of Japan. Let's get you. You're probably going to get murdered, but we'll try that. And these three are not going to be doing anything down here, so... What we're going to do is just remove all of their orders. Can't I right-click the... Oh, that isn't your order, actually, is it? This is your order. Yeah, we need you up here somewhere. Um, just take a garrison order, I guess. There we go, we have our justification. How long will that last? September. Right, we better start getting up here soon and planning our invasion, because we need to be on point for this. It needs to be the Blitzkrieg we want. We might well lose this port immediately, but... Uh, eh, we'll try. Come on, you need to be, like... experienced for this. 99... Right, there we go. Stop. Prepare for the invasion. Okay, we've got it. Ish. Have we? Yes, we can do it. Just, we have enough time. Right, and I want you to actually have a front line. Here. The idea being you'll hold them off while they, uh... Oh! Soviet Union sending troops over. Excellent, thank you very much, Soviet Union. Well, Finland's nearly dead, so... Oh, there we go. National focus... Oh, because I'm at peace now. Oh, you little... Mm. We'll do civil construction then. God damn it, that is so... That really annoys me. It really annoys me. Uh, infantry equipment. Oh, can we ask for release then? Oh, we can't because we're not at war. God damn, we should have done so much when we were at war.
Fall of Warsaw. Poland's capitulated. There we go. German Reich have absorbed it. Oh, come on, United Kingdom. You can do the invasion. France hasn't... I don't dare say it. Gone yet? They've taken Paris back. How's that invasion getting on? Oh, 15 days. And how long do we have? About 22 days. Ooh, there's going to be a week. And it's going to be very tense. Ooh, we have a tank! Huzzah! Let's get the tank up here, I guess, because, quite frankly, there's nowhere else we can put it. Um, just be quick about it, otherwise you're going to get sunk. Just saying. Reign of Terror is over. Three, two, one. We're ready for the invasion of Japan. We have the means. This is going to be interesting. I've been entering Elysium and I'm going to leave you on a cliffhanger. Because we've been going for like 27 minutes. Um, this is going to be... Like I say, we're fighting a very interesting position here. We might lose our troops because look at them. They're actually really badly hurt because they don't have any supply from the capital. That's one of the problems with this province. Uh, also here, uh, similarly, we are in not a great position. At least we have a little bit of better supply. Um, and if we can get this invasion and if we can hold it off their homeland early on, we might just be in luck. I'm hoping that they've diverted most of their troops elsewhere. There is a chance they've left their homeland relatively undefended. It's going to really matter that do we hold their homeland, do we get to a port where we can bring in more reinforcements, and then do we get our manpower levels up fast enough to be able to hold. That's what matters. And honestly, I don't know. People were telling me that the attack on China was foolhardy. I thought that was going to work. So I'm normally pretty bang on the ball about these things, but this one I think we may be pushing too hard, but there is no other option. This province is just not ours. It's a prison for us. And we need to bust out. And that means taking on Japan. I've been there listening. If you enjoyed, please like. If not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Leave me a comment down below with your prediction of how this is going to go. And until next time, stay shiny.